Hey guys, how you doing? Um, I made a little, it was going to be a before and after of uh, straightening up my shop. Which, uh, I, I did get the machine cleaned up, the area around the machine, got my tools organized, but it really didn't go much further. I didn't get my toolbox back in here, which is in goal. Uh, just get all my flat spaces cleared off another goal, but um, I was sitting around thinking about, I was get, I was going to put this uh, end mill away to have it up on my tray. And I thought, well, no, I, you know, how can I, how can I use that? And how can I hook up this milling machine? And I got these new boring bars that I bought at an auction, you know, brazed carbide. And that's, 45 minutes till I need to wake up the wife. So let me stop that. So I got this little little set of boring bars braced on carbide. Some of them are still wrapped in a paper with the grease protector on it. So I know I got a fixture plate. You know, so I, I need something to attach it to my tool post. So I got two pieces of metal you know, about the right size, and I'm choosing between one or the other, and I thought, well, let me go get the fixture plate. And I went and got the fixture plate, and I already have it set up for on the tool post. Don't remember doing it, don't remember milling anything, but I got it trimmed in on the machine, I got it to where I have, uh, where's my scale? I have full, in and out travel as large as the plate itself um, height I think I would just have to turn my piece and then have that same travel on the other axis so the X and Y I guess it would be X and or Y and Z I guess up and down would be Z maybe okay but I just put my three jaw on and thought, well, no, this is going to, I'm going to put my collet chuck on. And I thought, no, I'm going to use my draw bar. So the, the draw bar that was given to me, I think his name was Chris. I'll look it up and mention it towards the end. But he sent me the collet holder in a box of collets, 12 collets, and then I made the collet bar, and uh, so that's what we're going to set up. So a quick look at the, the fixture plate here, I can, uh, so here's a, a quick look at the, the fixture plate mounted to the tool post. I guess I don't need this. I want to make a wrench, a permanent wrench up here. Uh, and there's my uh, my number 13 Jarno, right? Number 13 Jarno. And here's my uh, number 13 Jarno collet holder. There's a collet there. There's my draw bar. And, uh, here's my, uh, this, this is my, uh, Forget what we call that. This is my collar. So I'm going to go ahead and get this set up. Okay then, so we will unscrew this collet. Loud noise. Also, I had some holes in my uh, my sump down here, and I uh, I JB welded. I used those little plates of copper, and I patched three three pretty significant holes down there in my uh, my sump. This we'll call it. So I'm not sure. We're gonna transfer this Tommy bar. 
We'll transfer that to a close location here. Go ahead and insert that. And Okay, I see now. So it doesn't have to be tightened up all the way. I suspect that's good enough. And now I can pull that in and then run in my wheel, tighten this up. And then we won't tighten it up because uh, we don't know what pallet we're going to use yet. Which would have been a nice idea to think about before I just did what I did. So this is a 9 eighths. So it's just over a half inch. Let's try a half inch cutter, which is where I put it back. Yeah, well, let's try the two flute. It is uh, <clears throat> in my drill chuck, isn't it? So, no, that's not going to work. We got to, we got to get a, tell you what, let me bring you back. I'll get the proper size collar. Okay, I've decided on the, uh, on a 5 eighths twist the bar yeah we're threading now expose a little more threads That's well over a half inch of engagement. So I'm bringing, I got a two flute half inch. I'll choke up on that quite a bit. I'm going to get my Tommy bar back here. And Let's do what we can without the Tommy bar. Okay, I'll leave the Tommy bar right here. Just gonna do the hand wheel. Okay. 
Okay, so now I've got the Tommy bar. I guess I need to uh, Okay, that's that's tight. My magnets back over here by the draw bar. Okay, so now uh, we need to. There we go. So now we need to get something uh, something mounted up on that plate. So I'll be back and figure something out. Either put a vise on there or, uh, or strap a piece down to it. Or I could come in from behind and screw into the back of the piece. Uh, if, I needed, if I only needed one face, that would be... Uh, a sure way to do it. Probably a better idea to take that off of the tool post and work it up and then retram it. So we'll bring you back. Okay, I I've kind of rethought everything, but um, I ended up doing. Is uh, after I finally found my vise, which was mounted to this compound table, slide table. Um, I got it mounted to the fixture plate. I kind of have it lined up on the surface plate, and I got this block, which is uh, reliable, and this block, which is reliable. So I got that kind of spaced that far from the edge. And we got the vise in place. So that's what it looks like at this point. Ah, there you are. Yeah. Can you guess who that is? Okay, we got um, <clears throat> we got the um, plate tightened down to the tool post. We got the vise tightened down, and I think this is a two-inch vise. Let's verify that. Yeah, that's two inches, and um, let's see what kind of run out we have over two inches. I would say that's virtually zero. I have um, some adjustment. Let's go over that. Where's my camera going? So I'm sorry. I'm not used to this, so hang with me. Okay. Let's see what you're looking at. Adjust it so that you're. Okay, so. I got um, a full travel of this uh, mounting plate, which is there's three, it's roughly six and a half inches, and then I have all the travel. Let's pull this guy away. <laughs> I could have just done this, huh? And I also have the tool post travel. So 
This is probably as high as I would ever want to go. So let's call that seven. Well, shit, I can go. I guess I can go the length of this. I can travel an inch and a half up and down here of, of Z, if that's what Z is called, on a lathe. I'm assuming that um, this is X, and this is Y, and then up and down is Z. Well, I could be wrong, but that's, you know, that's where I'm at as of right now. I have a, uh, I also switched up to a uh, 3 8 and I have uh, picked out some 3 8 end mills. And I need to light the camera up so I can see what you're seeing once again. It's nice to be able to black the, you know, for the screen to go out so it saves the battery. But I have a uh, two flute, a four flute, and a dovetail. All on, um, all on three eighths shank. Well, does that say a half inch? Yeah, the cutter's a half inch, but the shank is three eighths. Yeah, so those are the three cutters. And I have a piece of steel set up. Well, I'm wondering if I should try to work in aluminum, you know, being my first, you know, my being new to milling. All right, bring it back. You got to guess what I'm thinking about doing. You know, this is kind of a giveaway, isn't it? Um, if I do do that, I'm not going to look at any. I mean, I've made a, a fe I've made the female dovetail before, and uh, you know, no science behind it. I just kind of winged it. So, we'll see what I do this time. Huh, okay, here's the... These are the materials that I'm thinking about using, the raw material. I'm kind of thinking that maybe one day these will... Maybe one day these will slide on each other. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. I'm going to take my time. I've already caught myself rushing through shit. Uh, I'm going to take my time. I see a problem already. Oh, I'll straighten out. I'm going to take my time and uh, just do little bits at a time. So, come back and watch part two of this uh milling on the Pratt & Whitney using the Pratt & Whitney collet holder in the number 13 Jarno with the shop made draw bar with the fancy brass collar. That's a long title, isn't it? Thanks for watching guys. Thanks for subscribing. I look forward to um, producing these next few videos. Good days. Holding on itself.